at six outrage from Miami-Dade County leaders after TSA agents hosted a tour for a Cuban government delegation at Miami International Airport. The group reportedly went through secure areas. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Thank you for joining us tonight. County leaders say they didn't even know the tour was happening, but it was all coordinated through the State Department. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor joins us live now from Miami International Airport. Yvonne, the tour happened on Cuban Independence Day. And that is May 20th, which was yesterday, Elliot and Lauren. Well, it was the Transportation Security Administration, a federal agency better known as TSA, who invited the Cuban delegation. They were here for several hours, having access to areas that the general public does not have access to. Now, what elected officials, including the mayor, are asking today is why? A Cuban delegation was allowed to see a TSA security checkpoint like this one at Miami International Airport on Monday. And today, Miami-Dade officials said they were kept in the dark about it. What did the mayor know about this? The mayor knew nothing. The airport knew nothing. As a Cuban-American, I am uh, appalled by that. At Miami-Dade County Commission, MIA Director Ralph Coutier expressed his disgust. Yesterday, for approximately five hours, five members of the Cuban government, Cuban officials, the equivalent of their TSA, received a tour from the State Department. A tour of two areas of the airport that the director considers sensitive. A TSA checkpoint and a TSA baggage screening area. And the fact that the director did not know anything about it, or the mayor, or any of us, it's a complete slap in the face. For Commissioner Kevin Cabrera, it's a cultural insensitivity issue. We know that this is the heart of the Cuban exile community. The visit happened on May 20th, Cuba's Independence Day. One of four countries on the state sponsor of terrorism list by their State Department to tour our, our airport facilities, secure areas, how we screen passengers, how we screen cargo. That's crazy. It's not just about the Cubans. Again, this is a security, a national security issue that we need to address. Have you guys reached out to TSA or the federal government for an explanation? And if so, what have they said? We've reached out and we've requested one. Um, I have not yet to get one. We did receive a statement from the Transportation Security Administration administration. DSA works closely with its Cuban counterparts to promote civil aviation security in both countries. Cuban officials did not access sensitivity technology or systems. They received a general overview of TSA security operation. Some passengers traveling through MIA were rather shocked. I hate to think that they can learn about how to exploit our, our security system and how to get around uh, our screening processes. It's concerning. It's very concerning. We need to know exactly who was there, why they were there, how this was approved. Uh, we're asking for all of that from TSA and from the State Department, and now we will also reach out to the White House. And once again, it was the State Department that coordinated the visit of the Cuban delegation. Now, Miami-Dade commissioners said that there's a consensus that from now on, they want to be informed when foreign government officials either tour or visit the airport. As you can see, some of the questions have not been answered. Live at MIA, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.